Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be breaking down the nine easiest vegetables to grow, no matter where you are, what's your climate, what's your experience. However, if you're a beginner, these are probably the nine you should start with. Now the vegetables I'm including in this list do well with very little care. They do well in most varieties of soil. What I'm not including are things that have long growing seasons. Um, like sweet potatoes that are easy to grow if you have the right environment. I'm not including tomatoes either because they don't do so well in places where it's really hot and humid. So while you might find them easy across the board, they're not the easiest. Peppers also need a long season to get a good harvest from, so I'm not including those either. The ones in this list require only basic care, basic knowledge, and just grow them in the right season. Also, anything on this list has to be relatively pest and disease resistant. Now, I've gone through this before, but I will just mention it here, that if you're a beginner especially, you most likely wanna stick with hybrids as opposed to heirlooms. Try a few heirlooms, but heirlooms are a little bit finicky on where you live, what kind of you know soil you have. They're a little more finicky than hybrids that have been bred to grow in a wide variety of conditions. Now these are going to be in no particular order and I do have videos to a lot of these things and I will list them down in the description below with links. Now even though these are in no particular order, I am starting out with possibly the easiest one and that is lettuce. Now lettuce can be grown by anyone. This is a really great beginner plant. It comes up fast, it grows fast. If you're not looking for head lettuce, if you're just looking to harvest leaves, you can have them on the table within a month of, har of planting. Lettuce like a moist, rich soil, uh, and they're great to tuck in around other things, like this garlic here, or in a lot under a lot of other cool season crops. Lettuce is a cool season crop, but you can tuck them in around, you know, any of the brassicas, broccoli, cauliflower, kohlrabi, um, and you can get several harvests of lettuce before that broccoli or any of those other ones are even close to becoming ready to harvest. If you're a beginner, I would stick with leaf lettuce. And what's great about that is you can cut the entire thing off just above the ground. And within a couple of weeks, you're gonna have a whole new bunch of lettuce to harvest from that same plant. And you can do that two or three times. A great thing about lettuce also is that it's frost hardy. It can take a frost and keep on going. You generally wanna plant lettuce in the fall or in the spring. It likes cool weather, and if you get hot weather, it's gonna to start to bolt. It's gonna send up a flower stalk immediately, and the lettuce is gonna get bitter. Here is some arugula that has started to bolt, so I'm gonna be cutting this back, or taking this out, and sowing some new. I would, I'm, I'm including arugula here with lettuce because it's used the same way, uh, but a great thing about arugula is it might even be easier than lettuce. It is really quick to sprout. That's why they call it rocket. It grows so fast. So if you like that unique taste of arugula, it is one of the easiest things to grow. The second vegetable on our list for easy growing is beans. And this could be bush beans, pole beans, it doesn't matter which kind. Now I don't have them standing behind me to show you because they're a warm season crop. In fact, right now or, or soon in your area, it's getting time to plant beans. Now beans like to be direct sown into the garden, so you do wanna wait until after your danger of frost is passed to get those sowed. But if you can give beans a moist, rich soil, they pretty much perform without much help. Uh, bush beans, you don't need to do anything other than, you know, let them grow. Pole beans, you do need something for them to climb up. A teepee, a trellis. Beans also create their own fertilizer. They can take nitrogen out of the air and fix it in their roots so that they can take advantage of that throughout the season. And if they don't use it all, what you plant in there afterwards can take advantage of it as well. Similar, but different are peas. They are a legume. They do need something to climb on and they are a cool season crop, which is why I have an example here to show you. Peas are super frost hardy. They can live through snow. They can be planted in spring or in the fall and they are going to reward you with wonderful sweet peas. Uh, these peas, this is uh, Lincoln, which is my favorite variety. It's one of the only varieties I grow. They are so sweet. If you've never had a pea other than a canned pea or frozen pea, it's not even the same thing. Now you can have potted peas, snow peas, the kind where you actually eat the entire thing. These are shelling peas, so you do 
open them up and either eat them fresh or cooked. There is very little pest control with these. They will be subject to uh, bacterial diseases in warmer weather. So as the, the weather starts to warm up, they could start to get that. But that's why we plant them in the cool season. Now it's been raining the past few days, so this is, there's a lot of peas on here. I need to harvest them. And that is one thing about peas is the more you pick them, the more they will produce. Same with beans. Number four is zucchini. And anyone that's grown zucchini can attest to the fact that if you don't have vine borers or squash bugs, uh, zucchini pretty much grow themselves. In fact, a couple of plants, you're gonna have some to feed the neighbors. There are two main issues that you might run into with zucchini. Number one would be squash bugs, squash vine borer. Now I have a video that I will link below that's gonna give you several ideas on how to take care of those or prevent them alt altogether. Uh, the second one is powdery mildew. A lot of times, usually toward the end of the season or if they're not being watered correctly, uh, they will get powdery mildew, but that's really easy. You can just start watering regularly and simply cut off the leaves that have powdery mildew. Just go all the way down to the base where the stem meets the stalk, cut them off, and you can really keep powdery mildew under control that way. Number five is garlic. Garlic is definitely one of the easiest things to grow. You break the cloves apart, you stick them in the ground, fall or winter, right before your ground freezes, they'll stay in the frozen ground all, see, all winter long, and then they'll start coming up. If they haven't come up in the fall, they'll start coming up in the spring. And by June, you're gonna have all kinds of garlic to be able to harvest and store. Garlic is really hardy. It's pretty disease resistant. It will get rust sometimes. Very pest resistant. I don't think I've ever had any pest issues with garlic. Alliums in general are all very pest resistant. In fact, you can use them as companion plants with other things and the smell of the garlic or the onions kind of confuses the bug. They don't know which plant is the one they're looking for, so they just go over to your neighbor's house. Sticking with the allium family, number six is green onions. Now, green onions are another one that's so easy, it's ridiculous. They're usually planted by seed. They come up fast. You can hardly kill a green onion seedling. They can be grown in the cool season, the warm season. In fact, they'll last maybe all year long. Unless you have really cold winters, then you'll have to start them again. When they're about this size, you can start harvesting, just plucking off some of the leaves, using them in salads or however you use green onions. And again, they're great companion plants for other plants that you wanna confuse uh, the bugs with the smell of the alliums. And we have one more allium to talk about. Number seven is chives. Now chives are super easy to grow. They're a perennial bulb. And so you plant one chive bulb, usually you plant the seeds and they turn into bulbs, but they spread year after year, the clump gets bigger and bigger. This year I divided a clump that I've had for several years. I brought it from our old house and I got nine nice sized clumps out of it. Chives have that mild be flavor between a, a garlic and an onion. They also have these really cool blooms. Now these haven't opened yet, but when they do, they're these nice little pink powder puff, pom-pom looking blooms, uh, like an allium bloom, but smaller. And they are really great. You can pick them and sprinkle the little petals over, the, over salads, and they make a really nice, mild background flavor to your salad. Super cold hardy, they'll live through frost, snow, they'll live through a freeze and come right back. They're a great plant to plant with uh, carrots. If you have carrot fly, make a nice ring of chives around that. And the carrot fly can't smell the carrot over the chive smell. Number eight is cabbage. Cabbage is one of those tough uh, vegetables that takes a long time to grow. However, it is hardy. It's a cool season crop. You plant it either in the fall or early spring. It can definitely take a frost. It doesn't have a lot of pests and disease, uh, especially disease, but there are a couple of pests just to watch out for. Aphids, easy to spray those off with a hose, and the cabbage white butterfly and corresponding caterpillars. But those are really to keep under control with either BT, or you can just throw some insect netting over your cabbages um, or tool, and that just keeps the cabbage worms or cabbage butterflies off so they can't lay the eggs that produce the worms. My final choice, are potatoes. Now, if you didn't see me plant this a couple weeks ago in a video, I'll leave a link to that down below, but they are just such an easy plant to plant, uh, especially the Ruth Stout method. 
If you don't know what that is, definitely watch that video. It cannot get any easier than that. But potatoes are just one of those set it and forget it type of crops. And, you know, generally they're pest resistant, disease resistant. They do uh, sometimes have a Colorado potato beetle issue. You can use the tool or the insect netting over the crops to keep those away as well. Blight can be an issue for some people. If you have a really wet climate, try to grow them in the cooler part of the year that's not so humid. Uh, they are a cool season crop for the most part. I did plant last year in the fall. I planted a crop of potatoes and they went through the, the winter and I just harvested them in that same video that I just told you about. Got a pretty good harvest for such a small area. Uh, so now I will be growing potatoes in the spring and the fall. So those are my choices for the easiest crops you can possibly grow, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Definitely add what you think your easiest vegetables to grow are. If you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with a gardening friend, and I'll see you next time.